Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm at work and after what I would consider a wild night of codes and all, I am finally sitting down after I'm done doing my first set of charting, relieving somebody. I'm in the second district, relieving somebody on her hour and a half break and I'm just sitting here on my phone trying to stay awake because all the people are sleeping. So pretty good. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay awake because right after, which is in about another 30 minutes, I go on break. But um, for the most part, the shift, the earlier part of the shift, I could have done without, to be completely honest. But I'm praying that the last half is very chill. The patient who we had a code for earlier is doing perfectly fine so now everything is like very settled and very chill like I expected the night to be. I can't tell if I'm tired and like want to sleep or I'm just exhausted from like going back and forth during the code. I'm charting to 1 35 a.m. I'm also relieving somebody and charting. So guys, my shift last night was absolute chaos, okay? I was in like district two and then, you know, when I'm there, there were a few one-to-ones that took away some people from my district. And one of the one-to-ones had a code and, you know, there was suspected drug use and it seemed as if the patient was like going in the bathroom using while he was already admitted to the hospital. So. It was like a whole thing and then when they asked he wasn't truthful about it and you know they basically had to let him know that you know we're able to see when we do blood tests because the unit that i work on um we do blood work every single day and you know it was scary and i feel like at one point i was just trying to figure out trying to put myself in his headspace to kind of see you know what could have possibly been going through his head where you decided that using while you're in the hospital was a good idea. Like, how did you not think they would have found it? I don't really know. You know, I know that a lot of things, like we don't put a lot of thought into it to begin with. And that sure seems like it was one of them, you know, but it was very, it was very sad to see that there was literally so much going on with him. You know, they were doing their absolute best to like try and keep him alive. Oh, it was chaos. It was absolute chaos, I'm not gonna lie. And while I'm still here trying to figure out if I want to be a surgical tech or if I want to be a registered nurse, um, I don't know, last night I felt like it made me so anxious realizing how much goes into like when there is a code and like everybody has to be hands-on and there's just so much going on at a time. There were a minimum of like eight to ten doctors inside the room just trying to basically pull together and figure out what was wrong with him. And I feel like I liked that I saw that there were so many doctors coming together um, trying to figure it out as opposed to just one person brainstorming trying to figure out what might be the issue with you but um it was also I don't know it was it was wild it, you know it was really wild but I'm it's three it's 322 and I'm about to just lay down and rest even if I don't go to sleep right at the moment tonight my, my friend does not work so babe is gonna be dropping me so I'm asking him if he thinks he's gonna be able to make it here by 10 15 good effort plan for the kids I think I like the easy stretch more butter soft. I think mean, this one, the material feels a little bit more structured. Butter soft, made in Haiti. It was a wild night to say the least. You know, I was running behind a little bit because my vitals machine, they ended up using that, borrowing that for the code. And so I just decided, all right, let me just go ahead and like get my, my labs out of the way. And maybe by the time I'm done, they're gonna be done with the machine. They weren't. I had to go borrow somebody else's machine and obviously at that time we're doing vitals and blood work specifically but luckily the lady was um done with hers and I could like borrow it temporarily but like it was just the first half of the shift was just a little rough um after my break I, and I did sleep on my break which rarely rarely happens but like after my break I felt I felt like I was able to like bounce back a little bit <clears throat> but for the most part it was like it was going the one thing I will say is that Uniform Advantage, um, 
the first time when I got my order and I had an issue, I had already ripped the tags off and everything. So I was wondering if I could like send them back and everything. And they were basically telling me that I could buy, I had ended up selling them to my coworker and they gave me, um, they gave me a load of discount code. And another time I bought some more and I needed it by a certain date. And they also gave me, um, a discount code, something else for returns. Anyways, I gotta go. I've been saying that so much, but I'm gonna go lay down and like relax my body. This morning I literally only slept for two hours and that's not just not great. So right now I'm gonna try and see if I can sleep for another three or four hours and get myself together to go to work. I think while I'm at it, hey Siri, remind me at 10, 15 p.m. to turn my alarm back on. Okay, add it to today's reminders. She rarely ever talks back to me. Since babe is gonna be dropping me tonight, I don't need to leave earlier. So I could wake up at nine. And I could set this alarm for 9.30 actually. Nine. I could set it for 9.45 p.m. too. Let's do 9.30. Okay, just going through and like changing some of my alarms around and stuff like that, 7.30. All right, it is flaming hot inside of this apartment. It's currently 9.52 and I'm waiting on babe. He literally left work about 15 minutes ago and said that he's on his way. It should take him about 30 minutes. So he should be here within the next 10, 15 minutes. And then I will have just enough time to make it to work. But like God, not that I'm there extremely early, just sitting around waiting or whatever. But, you know, just enough time just in case. Um, I mean, not that it matters or anything, because if we're going to be on this floor working with just two, then that's just what it is, because there's quite a few one-to-ones on the floor. So wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm just waiting. I'm already dressed and I'm wearing a new pair of scrubs that I bought. Um, it's joggers and nine times out of 10, I don't really like the joggers because it doesn't go too far, but this, this one isn't bad. The material is nice. I'm wearing it to see how I like it and if I'll buy more of this one or if I'll just go to something else, but that's still up in the air, but we'll just have to see. Um, tonight is, what is today? Thursday night, I'm off tomorrow night, so that's nice, I could sleep in, Oof, no. Tomorrow I gotta stop by the bank when I leave work, and then come home and take care of a few things, and then I'm off tomorrow night, which is great. But I do work the weekend, so there's that. But for the most part, that's all that I have for you guys right now. Headed to work, it's hot. I gotta go lay in front of the air conditioner until Babe gets here. But I'm for the most part, I'm ready, because I don't want him to come here, and I'm not ready, because I don't really have time to be playing around if he at least gets here late. I'm at work and I'm doing a one-to-one -one tonight. I have a room with three people. Pretty decent, everybody is chill, just relaxing, I suppose. But that's what the night is looking like, so I'm gonna have to find ways to stay awake here, because it's not much action.